You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Johnson versus Quintero. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Johnson, you claim you are here today with a relationship on the line. Now, you are convinced your fiance's eight month old daughter, Camilla, was fathered by her ex boyfriend and not you. If the DNA results prove your deepest fears are true, you say you plan to leave her and never look back. <laughs> Ms. Quintero, you agree there is indeed a possibility that another man fathered your child, but say you're hoping it's not true. You claim your fiance has been there for your daughter since day one, and you believe in your heart she is his biological child. Additionally, Mr. Johnson, you're asking the court to award you $275 in back child care expenses. If the results prove Camilla is not your daughter, you'd like Ms. Quintero to pay you back. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Johnson, explain to the court exactly why are you doubting the paternity of your daughter? Well, Your Honor, it starts maybe three years ago. I met Maria at my job. My ex-girlfriend brought her over there. At first time I seen her, I fell in love, I'm not gonna lie. She sort of had like a glow around her. So she had a boyfriend at the time and I had a girlfriend at the time, so I never really talked to her. A few months went by and me and my girlfriend broke up. Just so happened her and her boyfriend broke up. Broke up. She invited me to some party. I never showed up because I thought my ex-girlfriend was gonna be there. So we usually talked for months and months just through social networks, never really on the phone or anything. Mm -hmm. And she happened to never get back with her boyfriend. So we started to talk in a relationship wise for a few weeks. We ended up having sex. We sort of fell off after the two weeks. She ended up going back with her ex, you know, just leaving me pretty much. I say about a year ago, we ended up talking again. Midway through March, we considered dating. Let's put it like that. We weren't really dating, but we were talking about it. All right. And she calls me up one day and she's like, hey, you know, I'm gonna go look for some apartments. You should come with. I was a little busy at the time, so I told her no. You know, I, I got stuff to do, I can't do it. I called her back later and she never picked up. She calls me up on the phone and like, hey, I'm pregnant. I was at my brother's house. We were having a little get together. We we're drinking, you know, just having fun. I tell her right away, hey, I gotta call you back. You know, I, I can't talk like this right now. I'm a little drunk. I hung up the phone talked to my brother. It just caught me so off guard. It was really So late. you say it caught you off guard when she said she was pregnant. It, did it catch you off guard because you didn't expect her to say it? It wasn't a possibility or you didn't think you were the father? Uh, it was, I wasn't expecting her to say it. It was, we just started talking for two weeks and just like that, it was just like, boom, I'm well, pregnant. I mean... All right, so Ms. Quintera, you agree with the account of your relationship. Not completely. You don't? No. Okay, what's your take? Okay, so yeah, the whole apartment thing. He, I didn't call him that day. We had planned to go look for apartments the day before. It was my first apartment. I was really excited about it. So he knew that I was excited about it. So I called him the next morning and he didn't answer. So I called him twice, he didn't answer. He didn't even hit me back up. So what I did is hit up my ex to go look for apartments. He was more than happy to go look for apartments. And then that's when we started talking again. It's not that I was just like, oh, he can't come with me. Let me go try him. No. That's what it seems like, though, Your Honor. I mean. All right. So the bottom line is you had an ex you were with. Yeah. Then you were briefly together for a couple weeks. Yeah. You left, went back to your ex. I wouldn't say went back to him. We hung out for a couple weeks. So you hung out for a while a little longer. Bit, yeah. Did you hang out in the bedroom? We did have sex, yeah. All right, so you had sex with the ex. Yeah. So during the window of conception, did you have sex with Mr. Johnson and your ex? Yeah. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's why we're here. So Mr. Johnson, when was your daughter born? My daughter was born uh, November 6, 2013. All uh, right, what are you uh, holding? Yeah. I just had a uh, calendar. Jerome, will you please hand me this calendar? It just states when Cammie was born and the two months at the top is midway when me and Maria started talking in uh, March and February was the month when she uh, was with her ex. So your daughter Camilla was born on the 6th of November. Yes. And outlined in green is the time she, Ms. Quintero, was intimate with her ex. Yes. Yes. And if you do the math... Yeah, it leads right to March. And count back, it leads right to March. Yes. During the time exactly. you say she was with... 
her right, ex. right around the time she was with her ex, and then right when we and her started dating. And then when you got back together, and yes. then two weeks later, yes. she says to you, I'm pregnant. Exactly. So, Ms. Quintero, do you believe what this calendar represents? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. And so... I mean, sorry to interrupt you. Her due date was December 13th. She was born a month and a half early. Okay. Yeah. So, in your estimation, you feel like if she was born around the projected due date, then that would have put the calculation back in the months when you two were back together. Pretty much, because we... Our date, official date, was March 9th. We set that date as because since that day, we hung out every day. March 30th, Saturday, is when I found out I was pregnant, and I called him. I mean, I didn't call my ex, I called him. And I told him, and he was just like, let me call you back. And then he called me back, like, about a minute later, and... Your Honor, uh, I, I used a condom when we had sex, and <laughs> that was one of the things that were puzzling me around the whole pregnancy thing, because it I was mean, just so close. I mean, he didn't close. use a condom every time we had sex, because we would drink, forget to use a condom, and, I mean, it goes from there. So, during this whole pregnancy, during this whole time, is Mr. Johnson with you? Yes. All right, so you participated... Yes. ...and you were there for the birth? Yes. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. In your mind, during this time, you said to yourself, I'm gonna take on this responsibility, I believe this baby is mine, or I'm just gonna hold off and request a DNA test when the baby's born. Well, when she admitted to me that she and her ex had something going on, part of me was very, very upset. Like, very, very upset. But the fact that she was able to admit it to me, I sort of pushed it aside. And the fact that it was so close that me and her had just had sex recently was, like, I just needed to know afterwards. I didn't want to sit here and waste my time judging Ms. Quintero instead of sitting there, going to my doctor's appointments, being there for the child, because what if later on I... <laughs> I just didn't know if later on if I had, you know, if, if I missed all of that. If yeah. right. two I years from now, she day one, up... I told him since day one, you can take a DNA test. Since day one, I've told him. Since I got pregnant, I was like, you want to take one? Go ahead. You wait till now. Why? I don't know. I feel like it's because he just wants to know if it's his or her so he can just start going doing his own thing. Oh, you feel like he's trying to use it to get off the hook from the whole relationship? Pretty much. Oh. So... At some point, you all decided to get engaged, right? Yes. Well, I, I decided to engage her. Yeah. If that makes any sense. And um, so, if you ask her to marry you, it seems like you decided to put this behind you, that you were going to move forward and you were going to accept Camilla as your daughter. I mean, yes. I would think uh, so. Up until recently. Uh, yeah. I'm at work and I have people coming up to me like, hey, you know, you know, uh, you know, your girlfriend was with this guy at this time. What do people at work know about your business? Oh, well, we... I publicly display my daughter, and everybody in our uh, community pretty much knows Maria was with that other guy a long time. So they sort of look at it as, uh... And he's... But I was I, with him for three years and never got pregnant. Yeah, but so it doesn't mean it can't happen. So it's just, happen. like, the time I get with him for about two to three weeks, I get pregnant, but yet me and you just got together and I get pregnant, so it's like, really? Honestly, I have doubts, yes, I do, but I feel like it's more towards him, to be honest with you. He even, like, I mean, I have here papers that show him saying he can't deny it, that it's his, and he says she doesn't look... Jerome, let me see that you evidence, know. please. When she was younger, when she was, like, newborn, she looked a lot like him, because even his friends told him she looked like him. And Probably so... Probably now... What is this you submitted, Ms. Quintero? It's um, that he says that, you know, I can't deny it. She looks just like me. This is a post. Yes. Yeah. Look at the mouth, laugh out loud. That's you all day, bro. Yes, that's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> and then you write back, wow, well, I can't deny it. Laugh out loud. That's when she was a lot but younger. Yes, that, that was but a now, month after she was born. Now she's starting to look like if you see the other evidence, she looks a lot like me. These are photos that you submitted to the court. Yeah. And on the left side is Camilla. She's absolutely adorable. Thank you. And on the right side is a picture of you when you were about her age. Yes, Your Honor. 
and she looks just like me. Her nose, I mean, now Very maybe, much yeah. Like her mom, yes. So it's like he said, oh, she has, you know, silky hair like mine. I mean, like, good for her. You know what I mean? It's like Your she's, Honor, she's I just looking don't a lot see like any me. Comparison with me at all? I mean, not at now, like but she anything? did. <laughs> I mean, you don't see any, any resemblance. No, at all. I just don't have nothing from my like family. No, your no. sister, nothing. No, no. Okay, it's just and then that makes haircut. you doubt. Yes, that's exactly really now what you, makes me doubt, and that in the time frame. Now you say you signed the birth certificate, though. Yes. So do you regret signing the birth certificate before you knew whether or not she was your biological child? No, I don't. One, because of the fact, like I stated, I would hate to have missed out on that, being there all that time. And two, me and Ms. Quintero actually spoke about it before the lady came in with the birth certificate. So, and I told her that I was willing to sign it. So then, no, I don't really regret that at all. All right. I mean, I just don't understand why he was there for me and Camilla all these times. Like, he was there through my pregnancy. Like, I had a C-section, so I had to be at the hospital. They said I'd be there for a month. I was only there for a week. He was there every single night. He didn't leave that hospital not one time. My mom would bring us clothes. So the fact that he was there through everything, moved out to Orlando with me and my parents so we can help them out and all that, but yet you're, you know, you're doubting it. Why would you doubt it and do all this for us? I mean, yeah, I haven't had a job for over a year. He's been working since before, even a little bit before I was pregnant. But it's just, why take care of us if you have doubts? Why don't you take a DNA test when, the day she was born? I'm sure it appeared to you, with all of that effort and level of commitment, that he had accepted Camilla and you all were going to be a family. Yeah. And yet, standing in this courtroom today, Mr. Johnson, you made it clear that if Camilla is not your biological child, then you plan on calling the wedding off. Yes, ma'am. Yes, he just yeah. denies her. Usually he denies her when we're arguing. That's what I feel like. <clears throat> when we're arguing about him talking to other girls, he denies her. It's just like, you did wrong, so you're trying to... Are you trying to just push it on me? Like, oh, she might... You, you know, she might not be mine it's because you just got caught talking to another girl. You're on it. Is... Okay, so hold on. What you're saying is when you have relationship issues and he yeah. gets caught talking to girls or anything like that, he'll throw this up in your face. Yeah. Oh, Your Honor, it's not like that all the time. I've brought it up. What is it like? Times. I brought it up plenty of times. There'll just be times I'm like holding her, and I'm just like, man, you just don't look like me. You, like, you're too no pretty to be mine. Like you're too pretty to be mine. I mean, she's beautiful. Yeah. And as far as the other girls go, oh. I was sort of just using a plan B. I mean, it may sound a little rude and come off a little wrong. I mean, I but took... it was like she kept jumping back and forth from me to her ex. So I took like, my engagement ring off because we've been having a lot of issues lately of him talking to other girls. It's just like, what, it was not a couple of days ago that he was, I got caught talking to another girl, telling her that he doesn't know about me and him anymore. Why would he tell another girl that? Like, really? And then he'll tell me, like, what do I get out of being with you? Who, you know, you don't tell that to someone you're supposedly in love with. Exactly. So, Mr. Johnson, you know, as I'm listening to this testimony, it sounded like you were a pretty stand-up guy. And yet, it does seem a little bit like you're holding this doubt. It's like a, a pawn in the game. What do you want out of this relationship? I just want to know if Camilla's mine. That's what I really want to know. Out of because the in your mind, this entire relationship, marriage, situation, and life depends on whether this child is yours. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, I don't expect him to be with me if Those it's not are his. some pretty heavy stakes. You also add, and Ms. Quintero has said it explicitly that you're the one taking care of her and the baby. Yes. She's not working and you are. Yes. And you provide the support. So this is a perfect time to deal with your arbitration. You say you've paid $275 in baby expenses. Yes. Do you have any proof of that? I couldn't get the, the receipts for them or the bank statements because I was using, like, a prepaid debit card, so I, I couldn't get those for I mean, them, I can vouch but... for him. He has paid for everything. I'm not saying he hasn't. All right, so if I say the plaintiff contends he's paid $275 in baby expenses, $100 in diapers, $75 in clothes, and food at approximately $100, do you believe that is true? I'm pretty sure it's more than that. All right. Yeah. So the $275 is agreed upon? Yes, Your Honor. And you're asking, if this child is not yours, you want your money back? Yes, Your Honor. All right. 
I think it's time for the results. Jerome. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Johnson v. Quintero, when it comes to eight-month-old Camilla Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Johnson v. Quintero, when it comes to eight-month-old Camilla Johnson, Mr. Johnson, you are her father. <laughs> oh, man. Can I get a hug? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How do you feel, Miss Quintero? It's a relief. It's like now we can go back to planning for our wedding, and I feel like now the whole him talking to the girls should stop, and we're gonna move on from this. And now, since you've arrived at the point where you know that this child is yours, there's no more question, right? Yes. yes. What we can do now is take the past, let it be the past, and the only plan B should be plan baby, okay? Does that sound like a good plan? Sounds like an amazing plan. And just remember, when you have problems, it's better to just work it out between the two of you. I always say, don't seek counsel under the covers with someone else. I'm so very happy for you. Thank you. And finally, Mr. Johnson, in light of these results, your claim is dismissed. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Judge Lake has opened my eyes. No more plan Bs for me. <laughs> no more plan no Bs. More. I mean, <laughs> I... Honestly, I just feel like we can move on from this and we can finally start a family, just us three. No more other people in our relationship. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. okay.